one way by ensuring that your ginger is easy to peel is by selecting this muddy ones okay i got this from a local market and usually where i buy it is where people go and buy and sell so i get it at an affordable price usually when people buy it they come and do all this dirty work but i've noticed that when you buy it and it's muddy like this it is easy to peel as you are even washing it you see that the skin is already coming off so when i bought it i left it in the rubber for about two weeks i had not worked on it and see it's still in good shape so that's also one advantage when there's a lot of sand on it even when you don't put it in your fridge or anything it can last for about two to three weeks okay but don't don't leave it for more than that because once it starts germinating like what you saw it will start getting rotten and we do not want that okay so you can see that when i started I had a lot of parts germinating so i'll just go ahead and wash it multiple times and you can see at this stage just by washing it i've i got rid of you know most of the the skin okay so now that i'm done washing it i'll just go ahead i usually like to use a plastic spoon and then it's very easy to peel i'll show you an alternative that you can use if you do not get the very muddy ones because i know that in some parts of the world or some places they clean it before you buy okay so by the time you buy it is dry um, there's there's one that is coming at the end of the video that's my auntie's tip so do stay tuned for that okay so this is how easy i was able to peel it and um, the corners that the spoon couldn't get so i just used my skewer you know that is if you want it in this big form but you can always cut it and use your spoon to to peel it so that's how easy it is now to how you can store your your ginger okay i'm coming to show you various ways by which you can store your ginger so the first way is to cut this and dry them okay so after washing this if you are going to dry it you don't even have to bother yourself to go through with a spoon to get rid of all the skin okay and once you are, you are done washing it nice and clean you can just dry this so i spread this on my parchment paper and then i placed it in the sun and within a period of two days when the sun is really high even the first day you would notice that this may get dry but usually after the first day i put it in there for the second day so this one so i'm leaving it for some juices that i'm about to make <laughs> so this is after the second day and usually what i do is that i put it in my oven just for two minutes under low heat it just activates the fragrance and then just make sure that it sort of helps to ensure that it's very dry okay you can you can actually blend this right from drying it and i use the same process for my turmeric so you can see the turmeric i didn't even feel it after i just washed it and cut it and when turmeric dries you see the color is like this but as soon as you blend it the color will change i usually use my ginger powder and turmeric powder together so if i blend this is what i get and i'm i'll store this in my um recycled um spice container the first time i did it i remember that i i sieved this okay but later once i blend it you know the 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 skin of ginger and turmeric i'm told that are healthy as well so i don't even bother myself to save this and this is what i have i have my turmeric and ginger powder add a bit to your meal even when you're making fried rice and add a little of this to this it just changes the game so that's one way of storing how i store my ginger the second way is also a way of preserving your onions okay and your ginger and your pepper <laughs> so i'll go ahead and add my ginger to this ingredient and blend these ingredients are the, like the base of most Ghanaian dishes. Most Ghanaian dishes have garlic, ginger, you know, and pepper together with onion to spice our meat and, you know, make our stews. So I just added my ginger to these spices, this onions, garlic, and then pepper. And I blended it. So first I blended the onions with little water, okay? And when that was done, I poured part of the of the mix into the container and then what was left i just blended the rest so i did this with little water okay so once that is done i'm going to put this in my ice cube containers so i'll cover with my cling film 
to trap the fragrance and also prevent it from pouring and the rest of it i also tie them in this plastic so the bigger ones that you use for stew and everything i tie them in this bigger plastic bags i keep them in my freezer until they are frozen so it can be just a couple of hours if you did it in the evening it can be overnight okay and then the next day you can just go ahead bring all of these out and bag them in a single plastic bag this is going to make cooking easy once you are ready to cook you know you take some of it you put it on your meat you use it for your fish whatever it is because these are like the base of most Ghanaian dishes you use it for so that is the second one so this only does not this does not only make cooking easy but this is also a way of preserving your ingredients and for the purpose of this video preserving your ginger now i use the same method for kele wele spice i've shared a recipe on this channel of how i make kele wele spice kele wele spice is basically ginger pepper and some local spices some people like to add onions it's 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 optional okay so this is a kele wele spice i'll leave the link and um, below so that you check on that as well now the final method of storing this is by keeping it in your freezer now, when you buy the ginger and it's dry you can tie it and keep it in the draw part of your fridge and it can go for like three to four weeks nothing will happen to it okay if you want it to keep longer you just have to keep it in your freezer and make sure that it stays frozen now the good thing about keeping it in your freezer is that whenever you are ready to use as soon as you put it in water it is so easy to peel and this this tip is by my auntie my auntie shared this tip with me a year ago and she's been, she's been giving me pressure to share <laughs> to share this video so finally i'm bringing it okay so those of us who get the dry ones so if you're unable to get the muddy ones and you want this to be easy to peel just tie it keep it in your freezer and as soon as you put it in water like this see just look at it just my hand no spoon no knife nothing your hand effortlessly will get rid of the skin okay but there's a caution with this once you once you are done peeling it you should use it immediately if you are grinding it grind it immediately if you are blending it blend it immediately if you let it thaw what will happen is that you know ginger has this trans okay they are likely to be visible in your dish especially if you don't have a powerful blender but if it still has the ice in it it will blend nicely without any strand as at all if you are grating it without any strand at all so this is something that you should note that if you are using this method you just take what you want to use okay this one i'm using i'm doing a lot because i'm i'm blending it for for some dish but you can just take one that you you're about to use if you are now coming to blend your ginger garlic pepper you know blend take one put it in the water use your hand rub it you take off the skin you add it to it and as easy as that see your ginger you've peeled it too look at that <laughs> how easy is that i hope this video was helpful my name is sianoki thank you so much for clicking in it's always a pleasure to have you here shout outs to my auntie portia auntie portia for the, the for the last tip okay she shared it with me and i appreciate you all hope you find this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe